There is a rumor going around that apparently Rob Lucci is in love with Rorono Azoro and while Luffy and Lucci are rivals, it's actually true that they are rivals of love. What's up guys, it's your boy King here, back at it again with more One Piece content and today we're gonna be talking about something that is quite intriguing. In the world of One Piece, there are many powerful devil fruits. These fruits give their users unique abilities that can be very helpful in battle. However, there are some devil fruits that are more powerful than others. In this video, we will be discussing the top 5 most powerful mythical Zoan devil fruits. Mythical Zoan devil fruits are the rarest of the rare. These devil fruits allow their users to transform into mythical creatures, such as dragons, phoenixes, and gigantic buddhas. This gives them a significant advantage in battle as they are much stronger and faster than their human form. If you are a One Piece fan, then you would definitely want to watch this video till the end. At number 5 we have the Inu Inu no Mi model Okuchi no Makami. It is a mythical Zoan type devil fruit that enables the user to transform at will into a hybrid and full variant of an ancient wolf deity. Whether it's a wolf or a dog guys, I don't really know but look at her, she looks like a dog. It was eaten by mistake by Yamato. It was described by Kaido as a guardian deity of Wano. The user's hair becomes longer and more untamed while transformed, and they gain a ribbon-like trail of cold air around their shoulders as well as a large tail. Apparently, it's a trend among Zoans who have awakened their fruits to have cold air around their shoulders. The abilities it grants the user are vast, including superhuman physical strength, advanced battle instincts, and the ability to generate ice from their body and even expel it from their mouth. In Yamato's case, enough to let her clash near evenly with her father Kaido, who was an emperor of the sea, while the latter had assumed his extremely powerful human dragon form. This fruit is extremely powerful because it grants the user control over one of nature's most powerful elements as well as a large flexible array of combat potential. Yamato's power was first hinted at during her fight with the armored division when she briefly flashed her fangs before it was fully revealed in Yamato's later fight with Kaido on the Skull Dome's roof. She uses the power of this fruit in battle. She has demonstrated her ability to fight on nearly equal terms with her father while the latter was in his half-dragon form, with Kaido commending her level of strength. Yamato prefers to use her Kanabo, which is named Takeru because everyone in One Piece has to name their weapons. I wonder why Luffy has not named his slippers yet. She uses it in hybrid form as she does in human form, comparable to Kaido, enhancing her close quarters combat capabilities. She uses her ice generating ability for offense, either by breathing it out to freeze targets or enveloping her club in it for enhanced hand to hand attacks. She can protect herself by cladding her body in ice, which absorbs damage like armor, or maybe erecting ice walls. Namuji Hyoga is one of her many techniques. You guys have no idea how hard it was for me to say that name. She tilts her head back, takes a deep breath, and then sharply exhales a thick blast of cold air at her target of choice, ideally freezing it solid. Yamato first used the attack against Kaido in her human beast form atop the scout dome, and it proved powerful enough to clash with and counter Kaido's bolo breath. Kagamiyama is another technique used by the current widow of this fruit. Yamato uses a defensive technique in which she completely encases herself in ice, which is initially indistinguishable from her body. If she is hit by an enemy attack, the armor-like coating will absorb the damage, cracking and breaking off Yamato like glass. The technique was first seen after a haki clash with Kaido, however, it was unable to withstand the full force of the attack. Kagamiyama, also known as Mount Kagami, which has no relation to the big mountains on her chest, is a mountain in Japan's Saga district. According to legend Matsuura Sayohime, don't blame me guys, I really have no way, I, I, I do not know how that's, that's pronounced. Matsuura Sayohime bid farewell to her husband Tomo no Satehiko, that wrote off my tongue very well, I, I'm gonna guess myself up for that. She bid farewell to Tomo no Satehiko at the mountain summit and prayed so passionately for his return that she turned to stone. Now you tell me if you ever find a girl like that in our time and age, I, I bet you can't. Kaido claims he had a difficult time obtaining this devil fruit and never intended for his child to consume it. Regardless, Yamato came across it and unaware of its nature ate it out of hunger, much like Luffy, gaining its powers at the expense of losing her ability to swim, giving her even less hope of ever escaping Onigashima. At number 4 we have the Hito Hito no Mi model Daibutsu and this is by far one of my favorites. This fruit was eaten by the ex-fleet Admiral Sengoku. 
This fruit allowed him to turn into a giant gold Buddha, granting him near invulnerability as his body is harnessed with a strong gold-like armor. It also grants him superhuman physical strength and shockwave abilities, allowing him to defeat his opponents without fail. This fruit is incredibly powerful due to its near invulnerability and array of impressive abilities. Sengoku has so far been seen using this fruit primarily for combat purposes, not that he would ever use it anywhere else. Enhancing his punching power with his increased size to the point of injuring Luffy despite his inflated and highly pressurized rubber body and destroying the scaffold they were on. Even though his punch was buffered by Luffy's super inflated belly and Gaudino's harder than steel candle wall, Sengoku can launch golden shockwaves by striking his hand forward in a palm thrusting motion that can deal massive damage to a group of enemies and was powerful enough to injure even the Blackbeard pirates. In the anime, these shockwaves are shown to be powerful enough to clash with Marshall D. Teach's tremor shockwaves. I must have missed something because those are not his, he actually stole them, so let's be more factual. That just shows how worthy this fruit is of this position. When Sengoku first used his fruit's powers to try to kill both Luffy and Ace, nearby marines commented that they had never seen him use it before, implying that he rarely transforms. His body emitted a blinding golden light as he transformed, which adds to his arsenal as his enemies are blinded by his light. So they are left, well, in defense mode and they can't do much offensively. The Whitebeard Pirates had a variety of devil fruits in their possession, but the best is arguably the Tori Tori Nomi model Phoenix, which was eaten by the legendary Marco the Phoenix. Just like it sounds, this fruit grants the user the ability to turn into a gigantic phoenix. At any time, he can transform into a human phoenix hybrid. Now notably, no full-bodied human beast form has been seen thus far through Marco's usage. Only partial morphing of his arms and legs into wings and bird legs respectively, whether said partial transformation is indeed his human beast form or not is something that we do not know. As with all Zoans, the user's transformation provides a significant boost to their overall physical abilities, bestowing strength sufficient to hold back two powerful ancient Zoan users at the same time. The user gains the ability to fly at high speeds as a bird Zoan. The phoenix form, both partial and complete, has a pair of sharp talons on the feet that can be used to deliver slashing damage via kicks. And before anyone starts kissing Sanji and Kizaru's uh, asses and saying things like he still can compare to them, just remember he clashed with Kizaru once and took all his attacks like a champ. I mean, he was such a menace that they had to slap a pair of sea stone cuffs on him just to stop him. Most notably, the user can generate the blue flames of resurrection. When transforming, these light blue flames envelop the user, though transforming is not required for the flames to be conjured. While the flames do not burn, spread or exude heat like normal flames, their special nature makes them more potent as demonstrated when Marco overpowered and injured Prometheus, a special fire homie made from Big Mom's soul. Which all in all is quite impressive, his flames are not as impressive as Azaka Inu's donut making flames but you have to admit they are a bit to regrow any lost limbs is quite impressive, most especially for his missus if he ever decides to get one. The phoenix flames rather than burning have tremendous healing properties. By clocking themselves in flames, the user can quickly regenerate from all injuries, including lethal ones. The wiki even says, in the same way that a phoenix is said to rise from its own ashes. As a result, the user possesses incredible resilience, capable of enduring severe punishment without feeling pain or slowing down. In Marco's case, severe injuries such as his body being shot at multiple times, his head and midsection being run through by blades, parts of his head and neck being blown off, or even one of his wings being severed elicited little reaction from him. The wounds simply disappearing in the flames almost as quickly as they were made. It should be noted that while Mako instantly heals fatal wounds upon receiving them, he prefers to leave minor ones alone, such as scrapes or bruises. Also, his rate of regeneration may be affected by Mako's own preparedness or the level of his transformation. As demonstrated when he was pierced from behind by Kizaru's lasers or in human form, but did not instantly heal. Despite the wounds being extremely harmful, following the war at Marineford, Marco was seen wearing bandages, implying that his flames had not healed his injuries. At number 2, we have the Uo Uo no Mi Model Seriyu, or if you are a cultured man, you know it is. <laughs> This fruit was eaten by the strongest creature in the world, 
or famously known as Kaido or someone's drunk papa. The former or current captain of the Beast Pirates, this fruit allowed him to turn into a gigantic dragon, a large reptilian creature with powerful scale armor plating that can crush and break most things. It also gives him the power of far greater physical strength, allowing him to take down enemies with ease. This fruit is incredibly powerful because of its array of defensive and offensive capabilities. Kaido had a sample of his lineage factor extracted by Vegapunk who used it to create an artificial devil fruit granting the same ability. Though the result was deemed a failure. Said fruit was eventually consumed by Kozuki Momonosuke who can now become a pink dragon in contrast to Kaido's Azura dragon. Azure, that just rolls off my tongue quite easily and it sounds so cultured. Azure. The full dragon form strength is comparable with its size as the user can severely damage structures such as houses simply by brushing up against them. When Kaido flew around Okobo town in a drunken stopper, it was thought that if he kept wreaking havoc, not only the town but Kuri itself would be wiped out. The user's arms, while thinner than the rest of their dragon body, are still extremely powerful, with a single swipe sending large fishmen flying through rock formations with great force and gripping apart houses with ease, even when drunk. In the anime, Kaido is seen causing intense thundery shockwaves simply by moving through the air or being thrown around, as well as with a simple puff or burp. Demonstrating the full dragon form's power, he used a tail swipe to send Monkey D. Luffy flying and easily overpowered Luffy's hockey imbued use of gear 3 with one of his dragon hands as well as by thrusting his head forward. In his fight with Kozuki Oden two decades ago, Kaido in his beast form repeatedly clashed with the samurai on equal terms, including matching the force of Oden's Togen Shiratake. Dang, these words are hard. What the hell? Countering his blades with his claws and fangs, and even ensnaring and tossing Odin away with one of his mustache tendrils. Aside from the transformation, the fruit bestows the most powerful supernatural abilities of any mythical Zoan seen thus far, apart from Luffy's. The most notable of these is the ability to conjure flame clouds, which can be used as footholds to travel through the air, effectively enabling flight. Kaido's dragon arms are constantly encircled by fiery rings, yet again, something with awakened Zoans that just gives them clouds around their shoulders. Which may be said clouds helping him fly more effectively through the air. Additionally, the flame clouds can be used to lift other objects, including entire islands, into the air and move them for extended periods of time, while also using their other powers. Furthermore, there appears to be no requirement for the user to transform in order to manifest flame clouds. Furthermore, as a dragon, I've used furthermore so many times, as a dragon, the user can create and control various elements, both in full beast and human beast form. In the anime, the most commonly seen element is fire, such as a concentrated scorching blast of fire that the user breathes out, which can travel many kilometers in seconds and instantly decimate a large earthen structure, as well as rapidly shooting fireballs. In addition to flames, the user can unleash lightning bolts while roaring. Number 1 is no surprise and of course it's the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika, a fruit that till recently has been called the Gomu Gomu no Mi. To be honest, this is one that I never saw coming and I still can't get used to the idea of it being a Zoan. It was eaten by Monkey D. Luffy, also known by the inhabitants of Amazon Lily as the Mushroom Boy or the Man with the Rare Jewels. This fruit was said to have been in the possession of the world government before being stolen by the Red Hair Pirates. It grants its user rubber-like powers but that's only in its base form and mainly because of Luffy's understanding of it. When awakened, it grants the user the abilities of the Sun God Nika but what those powers are exactly is something I don't exactly know. How to describe it? Maybe you can call it the power of imagination. But I do know one thing, Luffy might just die in an episode of Looney Tunes. It embodies the desire of the will to be free, as it was recently revealed that devil fruits are created by the collective will of the people, but maybe I'm not saying it right. Just think of it as the people's will and faith, kind of like how devils work in Chainsaw Man. The fruit therefore represents freedom and grants the user the ability to manipulate their environment without any restrictions, only limited by their imagination, as Luffy was seen to have wielded lightning which is something that should be impossible. I mean, where was this power when he fought Enel? I mean, they could have… But as it stands right now, it is the most powerful mythical Zoan fruit that Oda has revealed. But you know, I still believe that Blackbeard possesses a mythical Zoan devil fruit that rivals the Nika fruit, possibly a Cerberus type of devil fruit. And with that, 
don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell for future mossy content. That's right, we are bringing it back.